Then in terms of performance, um, the, the Model S is the only all aluminum uh, uh, sedan uh, made in North America. Uh, it's, it's really important that it's made of aluminum because we want it to, be, to have that, that crash safety, but also be light. So the car is only a little over 4,000 pounds uh, in, in, in mass. Um, and that allows it to be agile and quick and not, and not feel heavy. The basic car can do sort of a zero to 60 in about 5.6 seconds. And something you may already have heard about is we announced yesterday that there's going to be a performance version of the Model S that can do zero to 60 in under four and a half seconds. And that'll be available from starter production middle of next year. So. You know, just to put, uh, to, to put that into perspective, that's, that's better accel acceleration than a basic Porsche 911. And it's a four-door electric sedan. So not bad. Um, but, but acceleration is just one metric. The, the, the thing that's re that, that, that makes this better than any gasoline uh, sedan could possibly be is the center of gravity. The center of gravity, because the battery pack's in the floor pan, the center of gravity is super low. It's lower than most sports cars. And that means that when you, when you brake or accelerate, you don't have the, the dive, you know, this, this feeling of diving forward or, or, or falling back that you'd normally have if you've got a, a big engine um, above the axle. But the best form of safety is not to have an accident in the first place. And so to have incredible maneuverability and be able to get out of the way of the accident is super important. And because you have that low center of gravity, you don't have this body roll issue that you normally have uh, in, in, in sedans. Um, so on, on, on that metric, it's, it's really, it, it's a situation that a gasoline car literally can't compete on. Um, and, and you'll see me sort of kind of hopping on this difference of gasoline and electric. What, what we're really trying to show here with the Model S is that a, a, an electric car is not, it's not almost as good as a gasoline car. It's way better. I mean, th that's the thing that we have to show to the world. I mean, you see all these art articles and, and so-called experts um, and, you know, in, in some cases, they're, they're just sort of your typical naysayers. In some cases, they're funded by the oil companies and they have nefarious objectives in mind. Um, and and, and they, they sort of, they, they almost don't want this car to exist. And, and the reason, you know, what, a huge reason why we're holding this event is so that when, when, you, when you go home or, or to, to work and you talk to people that you know, um, now you can say, I've driven in the car. I've seen the factory. Um, you, you don't have to say, I, I think it'll work, or, or, ma or maybe they can make it. You've seen the actual product, you've seen how it'll get built, and you, you know with absolute certainty, this is the real thing. So, um, and, and, and in this case, we, we really need, need your help. N not for Tesla, but for electric cars in general. Um, th there's always a danger that the electric car revolution could stall out. That, that people could say, well, you know, it was a nice try, but, you know, they, they, they couldn't make a go of it. So, you know, let, let, let's sort of abandon the whole electric car idea and go, go back to fossil fuels. We cannot let that happen. Um, and that, that's, that's really what this is about. <laughs> you know, the, 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 there are a lot of people out there that, that have said sort of, a, a, a car like this is, you know, about as real as a unicorn. Well, today you've had a chance to ride a unicorn, you know. So, it's 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 real.